Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a first impressions. I basically uploaded a video um, not long ago where I was online shopping for some makeup because I needed some new goods. And then I did a video when it all turned up of like a makeup haul. And now I am doing a first impressions of most of the makeup that I bought in that haul. So if you wanna see what makeup I bought, if you haven't already seen the haul, I will link it up in, the, um, in this video now. So you can click on that and see that before you watch this if you want to if not you'll see some of the products in this video anyway so if you want to see how I created this look what products I used and my review and first impressions on the products then carry on watching right so my base makeup is done and this is because I've just filmed this video and it didn't record so I, I only did a few steps which is lucky but I used this wet n wild uh, primer so I've never used this before this is the photo focus face primer and this is the mattifying one so it come out like a kind of moisturizer um, and I rubbed it into my skin and it started to mattify the skin and it made it feel really smooth um, and then I've just applied my normal foundation which is the it cosmetics CC foundation this is in the shade light and then I applied my NYX HD concealer and this is in the shade CW02 so these two aren't first impressions which is why I'm not going to do my base makeup all over again for this video just because it's a bit of a waste of product um you know I've just bought that primer and these are my go-to products and there's no point in doing it all over again when these two aren't first impressions anyway it was only the primer so and we can see how the primer works throughout this video anyway but already my face feels so much matter which it's actually really nice because I never usually wear a primer. I always seem to wear moisturizers and I like a matte face rather than a dewy face. Usually once I've put my foundation on, it'll be way more dewy than this. It'll be really shiny. So it already looks like I can just pop, you know, bronzer on and go. I don't need to really put face powder on, but I'm gonna put a little bit on because I have got this RCMA powder. Uh, this is the no color powder and I absolutely love this. I've had about four tubs of this now, but I haven't had it in quite a while. So I haven't had this in like a good few months because I just haven't repurchased it. I haven't got around to doing it. It's a bit of a messy one, to be honest. It is a bit messy, but I just, I used, I'm a bit of a messy. I just pop a bit on my desk. <laughs> But I'm going to bake with that for a minute because I haven't baked in forever. So just pop it under my eyes. I'm just using this Real Techniques Beauty Blender. So I was saying in the other video that did not decide to record that um, this Beauty Blender is new. I bought this the other day and it's from Real Techniques. And I love these beauty blenders, but I haven't used one in so long just because I haven't bought a new one. And you know when they just get a bit gross after a few months. And so I just end up buying new ones, but I just haven't bought one in a while. But you can tell the difference from one that's wet and one's not, that one that isn't wet, which is what I really like about these. Because this one is wet, which is really big. And this one isn't. So you can see the size difference. I don't know if you can see, but there's a massive size difference in these just from wetting it next i'm gonna do bronzer which is the same as usual i swear there's loads of first impressions just not yet they're more to the end but literally everything is to the end then so i'm gonna just use this honolulu uh bronzer by w7 just to bronze my face a little bit while i'm still baking i can just do the bronzer and the blush and then i'll probably take the bake off then and then we can start the eyes which i've got a new I've got a new uh, highlighting palette, I've got a new setting spray, new um, eye products that I'm going to use, I've got new eyelashes, new lipstick, so I have got a lot of new products that I am going to use in a minute. Like usual really, bronzing on the top of my head, just blending that down, bronzing my cheeks as usual, and then just under my chin to define my jawline a little bit and also to try and reduce the look of a double chin which is impossible for me because it is really getting out of hand but I am currently on a diet so hopefully it'll be gone soon enough so now that we've bronzed I usually bronze here but I'm going to do that once I've wiped my bake off so I'm going to do some blush and I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Blush and I love this it's like pinky shade 
it's really pretty so I'm just going to pop that on the apples of my cheeks I honestly can't believe that footage didn't save because I was looking forward to doing this video and trying everything out I know it was only the first part that didn't save but I was just like oh why these things always happen like little things like this but next I'm going to wipe the bake off and then we're going to use a new highlighter palette that I have bought so what brush should I use to wipe that off maybe I'll just use this one Now that I've done baked under my eyes, now I've done my bronzer and my blush, I'm just going to pop some under here just to bake under there. That just gives it like a cl cleaner line basically. I don't want like a full on line but it just makes this bit a bit cleaner so that it's blended in a bit better. And while we're waiting for that, let's try the new highlighter palette. I'm just going to pop some bronzer actually. Where's that brush? Did I just use that one? I have no idea. I'm just going to pop some bronzer on the side of my nose. Like that. And then let's get on to the highlighter. So we've got this Makeup Revolution so f I sh um, highlighter palette. I haven't used this yet. And it has been out for quite a while. So I've been excited to use it for a while now. So this is the palette. I haven't even, like, I've never even tried this before. I think, I don't know what shade I'm going to go into, maybe the gold, because that looks really nice and pigmented, so let's try that one. So I'm going to go into that gold shade. Oh, wow. How nice is that? I love that. It's so blinding. Just blend it out a little bit. Yeah, I really like that, that's actually really pretty. I don't really have many gold highlighters so that's actually really nice and it's got like a purple and pink and stuff as well so you can do some really creative looks with the, using these highlighters as well which is nice. And I'm just going to do some on the end of my nose, on the bridge of my nose. I'm going to pop a bit on the bottom of my chin and then just on my head on these highlighting points and I'm going to probably um, pop some on the inner corner and stuff after maybe after I've done my eye look so that's that palette I really like that I'm going to test out some more of the colours maybe in different videos when I'm doing different eye looks but I really like that I think that's really pretty and just quickly fill in my brows and then basically everything else now is first impression so that's good So, I did wax my eyebrows yesterday, I filmed a pamper video, um, I was feeling a bit down yesterday so I needed a bit of a pamper, so I filmed a pamper video and uh, I waxed my eyebrows, so I find that once I've waxed my eyebrows they're way quicker and easier to fill in because you can just basically follow the natural shape of your brow. Right, that'll do for now. So next... I'm going to be doing the eyes so we're going to be using this Morphe and James Charles mini palette so most of you have probably used it before but I have never ever used it and I've just bought it so I'm going to take this little thing off protector so this is the palette it's got so many colorful shades on the bottom and then it's got like bronzy reds at the top it's kind of got every color you need to make your look so I don't really know what I'm going to do I think I'm gonna do like red, orange, and then like a shimmer. I've seen a lot of people do like the shimmers going up, and I think that's really pretty. And I've also got this Beauty Bay um, liquid crystal eyeshadow in the shade Moonstone, and I think that will look really pretty on the inside. So I'm gonna give that a go and see how it goes. First, I'm gonna go in with this red. Let's see what it's called because I've got this little slip here that says what it's called. So the shade You're Kidding. And I'm just going to pop that on the outside of my eye. Oh, these are so pigmented. I kind of expected them to be because obviously everybody's got them. And he kind of has to have a pigmented palette if he's going to make one. Because, you know, he does makeup himself. So, you know, you should know really. I'm bringing it quite high up for this look. I'm just blending that out nicely. And I'm also going to pop the same red on the inner corner.
corner like this and I'm going to bring that up as well I'm just packing a bit more colour onto it so that it's a bit more pigmented I'll do one eye on camera and one eye off camera I think so we've got the red. So now I'm going to take this smaller brush and go into the shade 518, which is like a orangey shade. And I'm just going to pop that on the inner side of the red that I've just popped on and kind of try and blend them in together. These are so pigmented. I'm well impressed. I'm actually really glad I bought this palette because I was like really iffy about buying it. Um, I actually bought it in a video that I recorded on YouTube, if you haven't seen it already, it's um, like I did makeup shopping online and then I've done a beauty haul, like a makeup haul with all the makeup that I bought online and then I'm now like kind of reviewing it, um, but this, I was kind of iffy about buying this palette because I was just like, I don't know, I've wanted it for so long but like, is it a bit late now, you know, but I'm really happy with it, it's really nice so that's good. I'm just going to go back in with the red shade brighten that up a little bit and kind of blend them in together so then I'm going to go in with this beauty bay living my best light and I'm going to pop this on the inner part of here where I've left blank hopefully this looks nice whoa that's so pigmented that's like too pigmented <laughs> it looks weird now I'm going to get a little brush and just blend that in nicely wow that's so pretty but it's like too pigmented for what I'm like going for here That's better if I just blend it out a little bit, pop a little bit more over here. That's so pretty once you like tone it down a little bit. I'm really impressed by these like liquid eyeshadows and you know I wanted the Stila ones but they're so expensive I've never you know been able to bring myself to actually buy them but these are such a good dupe. And maybe I'll put something on the bottom. Maybe I'll just do the same colours because I kind of want to make it look nice <laughs> rather than test them all out. So I might put the orange in the middle and then the red on the outer corner just to blend them in together. There we go. So that's one eye complete. I'm going to do the other eye off the camera and then I will be back with both eyes done and then we can get on with the mascara and lashes. So both eyes are now done. So let's move on to lashes. So I'm going to pop on this mascara which I have already done a review of uh, but this was bought with all of this basically. So this mascara is from Wet n Wild and it is £2.50. Uh, if you want to see my review then definitely go and check out that video. I'll link it above now um, to see what I think of it. So I'm not going to tell you in this video. You're going to have to go and have a look at the other one and see because I want to tell you. So, for lashes, a company sent me these today, they come in the post, it's really cute packaging, it's purple, glittery, but there is nowhere on the packaging or on here that says who it's from, so I don't know what company it's from. So if you sent me these, please leave a comment down below and let me know because I'm going about to test them out. They are very, very long, almost too long for this look, but I just want to test them out because they're the only lashes I haven't used yet. Um, the packaging is pretty cute to be honest, I like the um, glitter, but again like inside there's nothing that says who it's from, so I don't know, but I'm going to review them anyway and see how they are. Usually companies like put in a slip of like, you know, like a business card or something, but I haven't got anything in that one for some reason, which is strange, but I'm going to try these. I think they're the right size for me to be honest I might just come down and mm. that'll be alright so I use this Befolin super strong hold eyelash adhesive and I'm just going to pop that on here and then I'm probably most excited I was excited about the eyes and the lips because the lip products are from Morphe and I've never used their lip products before and I got a six set so I don't know which ones I'm going to use but I know there's like a shimmery gloss in there that I might use to kind of contrast with the eyes. This is the lip set that I got. It's this Kiss List one and it's the nude set. So um, there's like three nude liquid lipsticks and then there's three lip, uh, like nude 
lip glosses and I haven't got any nude lip glosses at all I've just got like clear ones or pink shimmery ones or pink ones a red one so it'll be good to um, have a few nude glosses I'm gonna try and pop this on now hopefully it's tacky enough they're almost a little bit too long for what I usually like to be honest but they are really pretty and I like that they have got like just a few long strands because I actually really like that lashes like that where they have like some long bits and then shorter parts or like lighter parts in the middle they are way longer than I expected probably wouldn't have picked these to be honest if I knew they were this long because I've just took a bit of time doing this eye look and I'm kind of covering it with these dramatic lashes but it is a first impression so these lashes are really pretty if I was doing more of a dramatic look or something, you know, one that comes out all the way out here with like pink and glitter and everything, that would look really, really nice. Or like a big smoky eye or something. I think these would look really nice, but for like a day-to-day -day look, this isn't the one. But this eye look isn't day-to-day, -day, so let's move on to lips anyway. But they are pretty lashes, I do like them. So I don't know which one to go for. The shades that we've got is Jealousy, True Story, Taunt, Froze, Boho and Pixie. So I think I'm going to use this Froze because this gloss looks so nice. And I think the best one to match it with is this one which is Taunt. So it's these two. So these are like the Morphe like minis. So I'm not going to use a lip liner because I haven't got one on me. I think a red look, a red lip would look really pretty with this look. She says that as she's applying a nude. So, first impression, the formula is so smooth and soft. It feels like not a liquid lipstick at all. Lipstick, lip, you know, liquid lipsticks can feel really dry on your lips, but this actually just feels really, really smooth. And it's super easy to applicate. And even now it just feels like there's nothing on your lips. And the colour is so nice. I really like this colour. I feel like I'm going to be wearing this one a lot. Especially to work and stuff. This is like a really natural nude kind of shade. Hopefully they like last a long time. I don't know what they'd be like. But I'm going to pop on this gloss over it. And just see how it applies. Maybe the gloss alone would look really pretty, but it's got like loads of little crystally glittery parts, so I thought it would be really pretty to try. I think I need a closer look. You can't really see the shimmery parts, but that might be because it needs to be alone, but I think it's a really pretty gloss. And this, oh no is not the end because we've got this morphe setting spray this is the continuous setting mist that i've wanted for so long i've seen like james charles nikki tutorials and that all use it and i'm like i want some so we've got some so let's spray our face with this oh oh that was lovely experience <laughs> i'm such a kid that smells so good and it like oh it feels so cooling on your face it's like not intense that feels actually really nice I want some more oh Christ I breathed out <laughs> I got a bit excited about the smell and breathed that in way too much um it is all over me and I am a little bit drenched now but it's no problem because it smells lovely so that is the final look they are my first impressions so I don't think there's a bad thing in this first impressions that I didn't like um, and I did buy all this with my own money uh, apart from the eyelashes that got sent to me but I'm pretty sure oh and the yeah and the um, foundation the It Cosmetics foundation and the brow stuff but anything like It Cosmetics and stuff like that anything that wasn't part of the first impressions the only thing that I didn't buy was the lashes um, but everything else I bought in that haul that um, you should definitely go and check out so yes this is the finished 
stylish look. I actually really like this eye look as well. And I love the um, James Charles palette. I'm going to definitely try out some new, some other shades in on my channel. Just so we can test out a few other ones and see if they work the same as the red and orange. Because I think they're really pretty. Um, I love this Beauty Bay liquid eyeshadow I think this is like gonna be my go-to for basically every look <laughs> I think it's really pretty and I got a trio so I've also got like a bronzy one and like a goldy one as well which will be exciting to try out um and the lips as well they are really nice it feels really creamy it's like a creamy formula that just slides on nicely you can barely feel it it's really really pretty as well and it's a really nice shade so I'm really happy with everything that I've bought thank god um and there's a couple of other products from that haul that I haven't used in this video because I'm going to do individual videos on them I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this look that I come out with if you have any of these products yourself and you've tried them out let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on the products and if you like them if you don't if you recreate this makeup look as well because a lot of people lately have been recreating my instagram makeup looks if you recreate this look if you post it on instagram please tag me in it and i'll definitely share it on my instagram and show everybody your whack i hope you enjoyed this video hit the bell icon for notifications for when i upload in the future and i shall see you in my next one